Monday morning. Hi, how are you? Back at my computer, just waiting for it to load. Had a um, good scrambled egg for breakfast. Scrambled egg on toast, so I've got a load of washing out. It's not even eight o'clock yet. I'm just getting everything set up so I can get started. Oh, it's quite nice out, the sun's out, it's a bit cloudy, it's very windy. I'm sweating. I always do when I rush around in the mornings. So I always do when I rush around full stop. So I'm going to go and see how many messages I've got on my computer from work and uh, I'll let you know how it's going later. Alright, I'm just about to go through my emails. Amazingly, there's only 92. Considering I've had a full week and a day off, I thought there'd be a lot more than that. So, and a lot of those are, are going to be just shift swaps, um, who's in the day performance, and such and such stuff like that. They can go straight in the recycling bin. So, let's crack on. Get that done and then we can crack on with some proper work. So, Jennifer loves the turtles on this program. Come and have a look, Jen. Look, turtles. Look. With the turtles? Uh, oh. Look, look at the turtle. More turtle. More turtle? Mm. Do you like turtle? Oh, a turtle. More turtle? Uh, oh, turtle. I love the way she says turtle. It's so cute. And then she goes, more turtle? Oh. I just had to put that bit in with Andy because she loves the turtles and the way she says turtle is just so cute. She was turtle? More turtle? It's just adorable, so I wanted to put that in, so. Right, so I'm getting ready to go up to my mum's now, take Jennifer out for a walk. Paul's in a meeting for the next four hours till at least five o'clock. I've got two colouring books that arrived today. I've obviously got the new colour in heaven. You will have seen a flip through this by the time this video goes up. Um, which is that one, Colin Thompson, Busy World Special. But I also ordered a My Little Pony book because Jennifer had one that I got from Lidl's with stickers in it and I loved it. And I wish I'd got myself one. So I ordered this and I ordered two of them. So Jennifer gets a copy as well. They're very simple. She's already started colouring in. I think she's, she's colouring in. I think she's coloured that one in. Normally she only puts one colour on a page but she's actually put three colours on so I'm very impressed. So yeah, it's My Little Pony. But you'll you'll see that at the end of the month when we do our haul. So I'm going to get dressed and we're going to go to Mum's. <laughs> Vlogging. So we're at Nana's now. And Jennifer's got her lovely waffle shirt on. And she's running around and wearing out her granddad. <laughs> see as we can officially visit properly now. You're not open to take a photo of No, I'm videoing her. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's our bar with her boot on in the corner. Yeah, I'm not videoing you. I wouldn't do that because I know you don't like it. Oh, slammed the door on him. Here she comes. Look at her little bundle of energy that she is. Oh, on my back. Oh, the door won't open. Oh, she's scared now that she doesn't understand why the door won't open. It's because Grandad's holding it. He's being mean. The door? Yeah, Grandad's holding the door shut. Try again. Who <laughs> done? <laughs> that energy she's got. Mm -hmm. Don't fall over. Ah, I'm coming. <laughs> On the way home now. Um, nothing. Oh, she's down again. loves to run on this grass then she pretends to fall over and then Granddad pretends to fall over and then she helps him get up. It's a lovely day in the sky. Oh. 
You help your granddad up. She's so sweet. You gonna run some more? It's nice to watch her run through the grass. <laughs> Down. And she's down. Hi guys, it's Monday night. It's been a long day. It's quarter past nine. I've still got a lot to do before I can go to bed. Oh, I've got some coke there. That's lovely. Um, I've just packed up all my packages that need to go out. Um, from eBay, uh, I'm just waiting for the cows boy. I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Paul has gone to bed, Jennifer's in bed. Paul's gone to bed, he's just shattered. I am too off to the amount of stuff I've been doing today. Um, and my back is absolutely killing me. Um, so I'm gonna have a cup of tea and put some listings live onto eBay. And then I'm going to go and measure some items for eBay and pack them up ready. And then I'm going to go upstairs and put YouTube on upstairs and watch um, some YouTube while I photograph some stuff. I've got five DVD bundles or box sets to go. Um, there's one single DVD that seems to be worth lifting on its own. It's an ancient Egypt one. So um, I've got those, so I'm going to take them upstairs and get the tent out and photograph those first and then I'll photograph my um, clothing. I'll probably only do six items today because, I, like I said, I'm in agony. And I'll make sure I do ten tomorrow, but I might have not as much DVD stuff to do uh, then. So that's good. And the thing with the DVDs is they're practically drafted. I've literally just got to put the photos in and then just jiggle it about tomorrow when I put them live. So tomorrow I might put five DVD lots live rather than clothing and... It also means that if I don't want to photograph uh, a lot of clothing because of, of having a bad back or whatever, I don't have to worry too much. So, I am just going to... Oh, hello. Let me just have a look. That's uh, regarding uh, Jennifer going to uh, a new nursery. I have got a load of new subscribers because today I popped up a... The new colour in heaven video i've had over 100 views on that I, I had almost 100 within an hour of it going up which is great i'm gonna crack on and then i'll check in before i go to bed if i remember because it's been a long day so i'm shattered it's half past 10 i still haven't finished um i've listed five items i've measured six ready and now i'm gonna photograph six items um out of my clothing bag I've brought up the DVDs I need to photograph, but I'm going to uh, do those tomorrow because they won't take too long, but I'm too tired to do too much, so this is what I've got. So there's DVDs set there, that's one, we've got that one, those going together, that one, there's something else, one, two, three, four, five, which is what I list daily, so that's cool. I'm going to pop on um, some... YouTube, I'm absolutely knackered. I'm gonna watch Shed Flips for a little while while I'm photographing, because he's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna hit the hay. There'll be no colour in today, and tonight I'm shattered. I still haven't finished a picture, though I'm very close to finishing my Kelly Horton one, which is good news. Uh, and then tomorrow, I'm try gonna try and get stuff done earlier, so that I can, um... I'm trying to think. So that I can film colouring charts and various other bits and pieces. I did, however, manage to walk more than 10,000 steps today, which is great, because I don't walk very much, and I go into mum's, kicked it off and helped, so. I'm just exhausted, so I'm gonna take my meds and get this done, and I'll see you on Tuesday morning. Good morning, everybody, it's Tuesday, and I'm about to start work. Just 
just before eight o'clock. Got news on, and um, yeah, just listening to it in the background. Tired this morning. I did get everything done I wanted to pretty much, so that's good. Um, we'll start again now. I'm stiff. My lower uh, back and my legs are stiff from all the extra exercise that I'm not used to doing. It's good though. I might have a soak in the bath tonight rather than a shower. Uh, with some Radox uh, muscle soak. That'd be nice, I haven't done that for a while, so. Uh, I'm thinking I might do that later, it'd be lovely, and uh, put the radio on and, and leave the door open and listen to some 50s and 60s music on the Golden Channel. So today's plan of action is pretty much the same as yesterday, with one exception, I'm not going to mum and dad's today. Um, have a day off. Work, play with Jennifer. Lunch, eBay, colouring. Might take a walk up the canal though, so um, I don't normally do that on my own. So I might wait until Paul finishes work and we'll go together. That might be nice. It means I can have a nice, easy afternoon colouring with Jen. So I'm going to crack on and I'll see you after I finish. Okay, finished work now. Got a few things in the post there. Got this uh, book on Judy. This one I don't have. What well, I do now, obviously. So I'm having a look at that. I got a couple of colouring books. The two April, other April Amber Chibi Girls. I found a child, <laughs> hello baby, she's a good girl. She loves being in the videos, she loves saying hello, don't you? I, <laughs> hello. I got my uh, new lipstick, which is um, Kiss Me Coral by Revlon, which is supposed to be the new name for Moondrop's Hot Coral, which Marilyn wore in, so it's got to give. You'll see this when I do my video with the books, which that one will be featured in, which you'll see actually before you see this. What else can, oh, a new t-shirt that Paul ordered for my birthday, but he got the wrong size, so I've now got the right size. New pair of pyjamas for this little monster. Yeah. Um, yeah and I've started colouring in the, the new Colouring Heaven book, even though I've got three million whips. And I have finished my new dribbling. New dribbling. It's my, my what? My nose. You got a nose? Where's your nose? A baby. It's a baby, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, I started currently in the Colour in Heaven, Colin Thompson. I got loads of whips still on the go, but I did finish one today, which was from Kelly Horton's book, which was very nice. And they posted it in the family room, and Kelly Horton liked it, which was very nice, and said it was lovely, which is always a nice thing. So, um, had some lunch, and now we're going to be jumped on. I'll see you in a bit. I can't find the off button. Hello, Jen. It's raining a little bit. No, that. Yeah. Yeah, for a little walk but on the canal, didn't we? There's somebody else walking as well, so we'll take her out of the way. It's a little bit grey and horrible as you can see. Miss Day. She's such a good little girl. I'm coming, sweetheart. Mummy's coming. And she likes to run. It's our hope, mate. Likes to run with her daddy. So sweet. So I am very hot. Well, I'm not so hot, but I'm very achy. So I've got a, a redox bath running, which is a muscle soak. I'm reading Carrie Grant, a light touch. I've got a cup of tea and I've got the, 70, the 50s or 60s hits channel on the internet. I'm going to have a nice soak in a bath now and then I'll, I'll check in with you after. I might do a bit of colouring after, I've got to do a bit of eBay but uh, I'm quite happy with this and um, when I do, I can't help myself because baby it's you. Anyway, I'm off my bath. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I had a nice bath. Yes, I'm wearing lipstick. In a minute, I'll tell you about it. I used the Kirk's Castile soap that Jean Harlow allegedly used on her hair. I put it on my hair too. It does lather up nicely. Oh my god, you can see how great my hair is. Um, I also put it on my face. Now, I don't normally put soap on my face, but it hasn't really dried the skin out very much. Um, but I still wouldn't use soap on my face um, that often. So I've plucked, well I don't pluck, I sort of shave them with a razor and then pencil them in when I do it. My eyebrows, because on the, 
the end of the week we're going to have a um, reading video which you'll have seen before this so I want to put some makeup on I'm not decent <laughs> halfway decent but this is my new lipstick here this is Revlon's Kiss Me Coral super lipstick apparently this is the new name for Revlon Moondrops Hot Coral which apparently was the colour Marilyn Monroe wore in Something's Got to Give. Now when I was looking at it downstairs in the artificial light, tungsten lighting in the bathroom, it didn't look very much like it. But actually up here with the daylight bulb, it does look very much more like that colour that she wore. So I'll see if I can find a picture of her. But mm, I don't really like want to edit them in, so I'll see if I can find one in a minute. And pop it, hold it up, so I don't have to edit it properly. But uh, I'm going to do some colouring in a minute, so I'll try and find that picture first, and then I'll um, I'll come back to you. Okay, so I found a couple of pictures of her in some in something's got to give. So there's this one, and yes, it does look very similar actually. Hello, lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today. Oh, my table's collapsing. That's poorly borrowed it for a meeting, and instead of putting it back properly, just leaves it because. He's a man and, you know, they're pretty useless. They do love him though, so he's not that bad. So I wouldn't be sad to put this to a flat. So again, here are a couple more pictures. I don't know if this will focus, but... For some reason, it's... Oh, it's taken... Well, there it goes, focusing in nicely. There you go, there you can see the colour. And there. And yeah, it does look like a very similar colour to the one I've got on at the moment is if it's not the same one it is very very similar and in case you're wondering what this book is that I'm showing you the pictures from this is a book that came out in the 1980s called uh, Marilyn at 27th Century Fox by Lawrence Crown um, it was published this is the hardback uh, so let's see if I got publishing details Oh, dear, it's hard to say. In 1987, which would have been the 25th anniversary of her death, and um, uh, there were two editions. This this edition, um, which also came out in a paperback, and then there was a slipcase edition of only 50 copies, which of course I don't have. I'd love one. Um, if you want to see a flip through of Marilyn at 20th Century Fox or any of my other Marilyn books, leave me a comment down below. That will be full flip throughs. Um, the photo books that is if you want to have a look at the marilyn videos uh, um which deal with my book collection so that will be um the complete book collection as it was and the photo books i do recommend um i will put links to those two videos down below um, but there are also some book reviews uh, marilyn book reviews or marilyn book related there is a playlist so check that out and if you want to see a flip through this or any other of my Marilyn photograph books do let me know and I'll flip through every single photograph and every single page of the book so you can see it and see if you want to buy it um, but that's it from me tonight I'm taking uh, my Kiss Me Coral Marilyn lipstick I'm going to add it to my collection of lipstick i have a lot of lipsticks i go for a lot of pinks and reds trying to get that uh, classic 50s 40s 50s look because i really like it and always have um and uh yeah again if you're interested in seeing what sort of makeup i use and how i apply it i can do one of those videos just let me know if that's something you want to see like i said i will put links to the two marilyn videos and a link where you can buy this lipstick in the uk it is i got mine from amazon um but I'm sure you can get it from any good um, pharmacist or chemist, uh, boots perhaps, but I got mine from Amazon. So I'll leave a link to the Marilyn books and this down below. I've got to make a note of this, otherwise I will forget. <laughs> and I'll be back tomorrow, Wednesday, peak of the week, hump day. See you then. Good morning, everybody. Wednesday, hooray. And I'm up ready for work, had my breakfast, an egg on toast, fried this time. Um, drinking tea, um, watching a bit of the news, 
So after using that soap, my hair feels actually really soft. Although I did condition it, do you know I never conditioned hers, she would put vinegar on it and put a it. Look at the roots. I might have to suck it up and book an appointment. The last time I went so long without a haircut and colour was when I was in hospital with my asthma. And I remember doing that when I was getting better and I could just see streaks of grey through it. I can't see them now, so... But, uh, it's my natural colour coming through. It doesn't bother me that much, but yeah, I'll have a look at booking an appointment with, with my hairdresser Dale soon. I have to try and suck it up and wear a mask. So if I can, but they've got to be safe and that's the most important thing. Anyway, I've had my breakfast, I'm going to drink my tea and get ready to start in a, a bit, about half an hour I think, just under. I'm ready, apart from I'm not dressed, I don't bother now. I will get dressed, I get dressed after, when I take Jennifer out for a walk. Hopefully it won't rain too much, it is a bit drizzly, I, I can't stop looking at the roots. Anyway, I'll see you in a little bit, let you know what I'm going to do. So I've just come upstairs for a bit, I finished work for the day a while back. Um, had lunch. Jennifer's driving it all, but that's what she does. So today this one arrived. This is uh, Max Factor Marilyn Ruby Red. I haven't opened it yet. And I also got this, which is a Judy Garland 3 CD box. That came out in 1991, by, uh, released by Capital. Called the one and only three discs in the studio at the Footlights. And the London session. So... Really looking forward to listening to this uh, later when Jennifer's in bed. I've actually ordered myself a boombox CD player for the bedroom and for the garden so I can play things up here while I'm colouring at night instead of having to watch TV. Yeah, and the weekday out in the garden, there's some music out there. So I'm going to open up this red, this, uh, red lipstick and we'll have a look. So I've taken the security label off and it looks like this. It's beautiful red. Let's see. Hard to tell in this light because I've only got a small light on. Mm, very smooth. It smells like chocolate. Actually, it does smell like chocolate. Nice. Mm. Yeah, it's nice as well. Yeah, I like these two lipsticks I've got this week. So, mmm, I've got a lot of lipsticks made. I'm enjoying them. Right, I'm going to crack on with something else and I'll see you in a bit. Well, it's Wednesday night now. Oh my god, it's, it's 11 o'clock. Paul's in bed, Jennifer's sound asleep, which is good they're both asleep. I have been listening to my new Judy Garland box set, which is lovely. I'm trying to list stuff on eBay, but for some reason my laptop's playing them and I couldn't do it. Um, I managed to list one and then it wouldn't let me list it. Oh, I can't be done with this, I'll leave it and do it tomorrow. Because of that, I'm not going to bother photographing tonight, because I'm knackered and it's late. Um, so because I'm not doing anything tonight, I can, uh, tomorrow I'll just list five items first thing in the morning when I get up, which will be five for the day. I've got some more to put the measurements in that I've already photographed. So I'll do that. And then tomorrow night, when I'm filming my colouring chat, or just after, or just before I film my camera chat, I'm not sure which yet. Sometime tomorrow, when I've got, because I'm doing my filming tomorrow, it's my filming night. I'll photograph the five DVDs I've already got sorted and drafted, and some clothing if I can. But if I don't do the clothing, it doesn't really matter. I've got a load more DVDs and stuff downstairs, um, and I've got a pair of shoes in, in a bag, and some other bits that I can just do, that will be quick photographs rather than um doing the clothing so i might have a couple of days off of clothing and photographing and photograph dvds box sets they are mostly dvd box sets uh, film bundles and a few items and i know i've got some rubber stamps for crafting i've got a pair of shoes i've got a jewelry bundle in there that needs to be done so tomorrow night i'll get up here earlier I'll do my listing first thing tomorrow. I won't have any measuring to do because that's all done. So all it'll be is to come straight up when I'm ready, um, do my photographing, do my filming, have a shower, whatever I want to. Um, I've only got really 
one flip through and my colouring chat for Friday. It's a hard, it's a punishing schedule, I'm not going to lie, I'm trying to do a video every day. I have got a load of videos recorded in the bank um, for the flip throughs and they're only going to be once a week. So it's the other things that are time consuming, like for instance the first impressions one, I've got to finish part two of my watercolours one and then I've got the Castle Arts 120 set now so I've got to do that. I've got to finish my Crayola picture so I can finish that video. Um, but to be fair, first impressions, I've got another one, two, three in the can ready and they're only going up once a week. Um, so I don't want to put them up every day and there may be days when I don't do a, a colouring chat because somebody will have asked for a Marilyn flip through or something or there'll be something else you know I'm going to do a reading what I've been reading wrap up and I might read up here I've got a huge Judy Garland book um, that I'm on my way through and I haven't finished it yet and I want to finish that so I have got three books to talk about which is great and they're all non-fiction but there is one fiction that I am reading at the moment so there yeah I do read a lot of non-fiction I'm not gonna lie I like my non-fiction so that's it for tonight I'm going to put a video on for five minutes while I do all my medication and get myself sorted I'm going to read for 10 minutes and then I'm going to Get some sleep before I have to work again tomorrow. Oh, God, it's all going. Tomorrow I might even try and go down my mum's. It depends on how heavy the rain is. It's supposed to be showers tomorrow. If it's not too bad, I just walk down with Jen. Do us both good because we went out yesterday and I haven't been for a walk today and I've done hardly any steps today because I wasn't feeling very well. I'm now feeling very better. A lot better. I had a bad tum this morning. So, came on after I ate a bar of chocolate. So, I might have to lay off the chocolate again. That's a shame because I really love chocolate. I love sweet stuff. But hey, I can live without it. So yeah, so tomorrow night I'll photograph some non-clothing items because they're quick to do. It's just I just got to put the pop-up tent, make sure they're all nice and clean and look good and just snap away. I'll try and do eight items, I think. Five of which are already drafted. I'm rambling again. You don't want to listen to me rambling. But yeah, I've been listening to that Judy CD box. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm loving it. I'm very, very naughty because I keep buying... Um, stuff this month. I've gone mad. I've ordered, like I said, I've ordered a boombox. That's coming tomorrow. So you'll be seeing that tomorrow. Hopefully it's good. Because there is a song I want to listen to, which is actually on the Marilyn, one of the Marilyn CDs. Apparently there's a longer version of the Jane Russell song. Ain't there anyone here from, for love from Jump for Blondes? Apparently it was, there was another chorus or another verse in that she sang with four other girls. Um, one of which was wearing a costume from the next film Marilyn made, How to Marry Me in Air, from the um, catwalk scene, or the fashion show scene. So, hmm, interesting. Apparently one of the girls is in one of the earlier shots, and I, I'm, I want to watch it now just to see if I can spot them in that outfit. <laughs> but that part of the song was cut, however, the version on the Diamond Collection CD, which I do have, has the longer version of Ain't There Anyone Here For Love, so I'd want to listen to it, so. And today I started sorting out our CDs, which I'll show you tomorrow. Our CDs have all been stacked up way high because Jennifer, when she was younger, would just pull them off the shelves and throw them around. She, and she used to do it with the DVDs. She stopped doing it with the DVDs now and she can still get to them. So I'm hoping she's not going to do it with CDs. So I've started sorting them out and it's back breaking work because I like to have everything in alphabetical order so you can find it. So you can imagine we've probably got five, six hundred CDs if not more. Now Paul says he's going to whittle his down and get rid of a load but uh, I'm not. I keep buying them. I'm not a person who goes for a lot of streaming. I don't mind streaming TV programs, that's fine. But I like to watch things when I want to watch them which is great because with streaming you can. But I'm also aware that places like Netflix and Amazon Prime have things on for a limited time and then they take them off. Now, I like to be able to watch something when I want to watch it and if it's not available on one of those systems, I'd be really annoyed because I'm subscribing to it, but it's not available. So I want to try and collect what I can on CD. I like phys the physical aspect. It's, I like tangible things. I feel sorry for Jennifer. She's have a load of crap to get rid of when I die. But that's a long way off yet. 
I'm gonna be around forever. You can't kill bad things. You know, that's what they say. Can't kill bad things. That's why I'm gonna be around for a long time to come. So I'm gonna head off for the night now and just read a little bit, chill out, watch a bit of telly. Take all my medication, like my asthma drugs, because I've got like four, three or four. I don't know. And uh, try and hit the hay. I'll see you tomorrow. It's Thursday. Only two more days in work before the weekend. Saturday, hopefully, is going to be nice. So we're going to go over to Roth and see Paul's mum and have a walk around Roth Park because uh, it's a lovely walk. And if it's nice, yes. Should be easy to social distance. And then uh, Sunday is our normal getting ready <gasps> excuse me monday i'm rambling i'm really rambling i'm sorry i'm gonna go i'll talk to you tomorrow see you then good morning everybody it is now thursday hooray only two more days till the weekend i can't wait it's my first week back and it feels like i've been back forever but it's only been like i've only done three days but that's what happens when you have a week off i'm just sitting here watching a bit of youtube having a cup of tea um it's nearly time to start a few more minutes and i'll be uh, getting set up well it's set up i've just got to move it over and switch the computer on um, i feel a bit groggy i don't know why i'd lovely sleep oh i love a good sleep um but yeah it's gonna be Thursday. it's raining so i don't know about going to mum's i have to see what it's doing this afternoon when i finish and i've had uh lunch but yeah paul's upstairs i don't know what he's doing I thought he'd gone up to get dressed, but I'm not so sure he's not gone back to bed. Yeah, it's a bit grey and horrible out there. Um, sorted out some of the CDs, which I will show you later on, because um, I'm going to do a bit more tonight. Um, we got a lot of music. Um, obviously, I've got a lot of records as well. I used to make um, videos of records. I'm currently watching uh, Matt Hayes' uh, Vinyl, which is a YouTube uh, vinyl, uh, vinyl community cha channel. He's brilliant. British, lives in LA. He's got a water leak above his vet record collection, so that's never good. Um, he's brilliant, he's funny, he collects all sorts of records, it's a very eclectic mix of, of music there, so I'll, I'll try and remember to put a link down below, I'll add it to my list, and um, yeah, check him out, he's really good. So I've finished work now, I've had some lunch, and me and Jen are going down to my mum and dad's for a little bit, it's spotting with rain but it's not too bad. Mummy's car's all the way up there isn't it, we're not taking the car, we're having a walk. So uh, yeah, so a nice travel walk. Got my new CD player thing that's arrived with the batteries for it and some popping corn. Because Paul's having a Zoom beer with his mate tomorrow night. I thought I'd watch a video, a DVD uh, in the bedroom. Probably a classic Garland movie maybe. I don't know, I'll have to decide tomorrow. Just got to move the DVD player in this evening. And I'll be fun, I thought I'd make myself a big bowl of popcorn and a Diet Coke and pretend I'm at the cinema. It'll be nice fun. Are you watering the garden, Jen? Some more. Oh, there's water in there. There's water in there, Jen. Yeah. yeah. yeah look. More. Look. Stand up. Hello. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. You're gonna get soaked, Jen. You are. Yeah. You having fun? Oh, Jennifer watering Daddy's flowers. Granddaddy's flowers, rather. More. Granddad, go and fill it up at the tap. <laughs> yes, darling. Hello. Oh, Rosie gets relegated, don't you, darling, when Jennifer's here because she doesn't like doggies. Right. She's not sure what to do now. And she's off. Can't even see the top of the mountain properly. <laughs> Been to mum's? Yeah, it's all right. It's not raining at the moment. We're spotting on the way down, but <sighs> gonna unpack my CD player. Okay. Baby. Oh, and she's gone. <laughs> yeah, 
So it's Thursday night, um, everybody's in bed, Jennifer's still awake but she's in bed, Paul's in bed and I've just come up because I'm going to make a video now, I've done some eBay live listings, put them live, I've got enough for tomorrow so I'm going to film tonight and then I'll photograph some stuff tomorrow of her listing. I had two sales today which is better than nothing, I've got my boom box so I'm going to show you it, this is it here, it's got a radio alarm in it as well, so there's my alarm, cup, cup of cold tea there. Um, I haven't listened to a CD. It's okay. It's not too bad. I had it on quietly. I've got uh, my Judy Garland box set here if I want to listen to that before I go to sleep. I'm going to start doing a video in the Dragon Special from Colour in Heaven. I'm going to do the Frost Dragon because I really like the Frost Dragon, which is this one. And after we've done that one, I'm going to do one from Johanna's Magical Jungle. Because I haven't coloured in that book yet. So it's the only one of her books that I haven't coloured in. I've got them all except for How to Draw Inky Wonderlands. Um, and that's just because it's a how to draw book and I'm not really bothered about that. So, But when she brings out a new colouring book, I will do it. I just signed up for the Colour in Heaven Discovery Club. Um, basically, they email you a new artist every Friday. And it's three ninety eight a month, although the first month is a pound. Um, so you get exclusive designs every Friday and they also send you discount codes I'm assuming to buy their books on somewhere like Etsy or Amazon I'm not sure because I haven't done it but I thought I'd give it a go I've, I've got so many things to, to colour I don't know why I've done it but it's only 3 98 for a month you get four drawings for that, four images for that I'll give it a go if I don't like them I can always cancel it so that's it for Thursday it's Friday tomorrow thank god it's the last day of the working week Yay! So I am going to have to contact Dale about how long he reckons it's going to take to do my hair. Because it's looking horrendous. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. It's Friday, like I said, last day of the week. I'm really happy about that. Um, we've managed to keep our kitchen really clean. Um, we're terrible for not dirt, it's, it's always clean, but things being left on counters. I think there's some cereal boxes on there. I do try and put them away, but Jennifer keeps getting them out. She did break a bowl today. <laughs> Better. But yeah, I'm going to try and do that. And uh, we're trying to keep it all nice and clean and tidy. And it is working. It's it's clean and it's tidy. And I'm happy with that. Living room's a mess, but there's toys everywhere. And I, oh, I'll have a go at doing it on the weekend. <laughs> And I've got to tidy up up here because I want to try and finish photographing um, all my clothing stock so that I can get that small bookcase up in that corner. And then, of course, I can sort out my Hollywood book collection. Also bringing the DVD player in here tomorrow because Paul's having a Zoom... Oh, I can't remember. I've got to email my brother. Um, a Zoom meeting uh, with his friend... I love my brother, but I've got nothing to say to him very much. I, I do. I mean, he's great and I love him to bits, but I haven't got anything to say. I don't, I don't know what to say. I love him. And I chat to him for hours if we do. I just find them video conferencing awkward. I, I don't like it. But I'll, I'll try. I'll, I'll mention it tomorrow. I'll, I'll email him tomorrow morning. But bless him. So if you do see this, Richard, I love you. I'm just not very good on these video conferencing thing. I can talk to a camera like this, but I never know what to say. But yeah, we're doing fine. And like I said, Friday tomorrow. Yay! So I'll see you tomorrow. I'm getting tired. So we're going to crack on with this video. See you soon. Morning, everyone. It's Friday morning. It's a lovely day here in South Wales. I've just pegged the uh, the washing line. It's Friday. It's uh, the last day of the week. Looks like it's going to be quite a nice day. So as you can see. I've put the washing up. There's a lot of it. It's one load, but it's mostly Jennifer stuff, so it's lots of little small things. So I'm going to go back now in and make a cup of tea and start the day. See what today's work brings. Ooh. Actually, it's not too bad. I had a lovely scrambled egg breakfast, so I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm just going to go and start my computer and make another cup of tea. So I will see you later. Time for tea. We're listening to the boom box. And it's fish and chips Friday. So, Paul's got fish and chips, I've got fish and chips, and Jennifer's got sausage, and she'll eat our chips. So it's Friday night, we've had our dinner. It was an hour late, so, which is fine. They're busy. It's got a way to come, but it was still piping hot. It was perfectly cooked. I'm not going to complain. So you can hear the 20th Century Fox soundtrack in the back, because I'm about to watch a couple of movies. Um, I've still got to upload today's video, because Paul's on his meeting, because we're running late because of that. So I said, have your meeting, and your chat with your mate, and then I'll... 
I'll upload my daily video then. I was going to do my filming for the book reading thing, but I decided I'll do it tomorrow when I get home from being out because um, I'll, when we go out, I'll try and put some makeup on and I'll look better. And then I'll be ready for it. I just need to freshen it up. Um, and that means I can just chill out tonight. It's going up tomorrow, so as long as I film it by about five o'clock tomorrow, I'll still get it up before uh, the end of the night. So I'm going to kick off the night with Gentlemen for Blondes because I want to watch... just want to watch it because it's my favourite film. There was a time when I watched this every single day. And then after that, I'm going to watch Doris Day, The Thrill of It All. I love this film. It's one I haven't seen for... I haven't seen it for ages, but I love this film. I love Doris Day. I just love movies, generally. So, yeah. Going to watch this one. This is Doris Day and James Garner. It's brilliant. And it's got the original trailer on it. Not that I worry about that. So, those are my two films for tonight. Makes a change because I'm normally watching YouTube. But I'm having a night off. i got four more colouring books today. I'm a bad person. Right, I'm going to go off, kick back, and enjoy Gentleman for Blondes. And I'll see you later. Hey, everybody. We're in Rome. Here's Jennifer. We've got an ice cream, which we're sharing. It's a lovely day. We've been up to see Paul's mum. And we're having a little walk around the lake area. Before we head home, we thought we'd have an ice cream. It was nice. Here's Jen. Do you enjoy that, Jennifer? No. I haven't been here for ages. Have we, babe? No. That's all right, go with her. So this is the first time we've been out somewhere that's not round Risker and round home. It's the first time we've been able to come anywhere different. It's kind of weird being out. What's the matter, Jen? Oh, let me hold you. We got you. So come to have a look at the ducks and the, yeah, you be careful because they might hurt you. It's a nice day. We're not going to do a long walk because they got a one way, not that people are obeying it, but we're supposed to be a one way system around the park. And of course it's such a big lake. I've done it, but I don't think Jennifer would cope with it somehow. I don't want to get too close to them. More to the water. Yeah. Come away from there. Right here. So yeah, it's a nice day. We like the lake. Jennifer's pulling at the thing. I think she wants to go for a run and attack the geese, which is not a good idea, Jen. No. They won't like it. We'll just grab her a minute. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Back home now. We had a McDonald's. Gosh, the queue was long. And it was really surreal. It was really surreal being in Roth Park and right by the lake with all these people around. Because don't forget, I haven't seen that many people in the last three to four months. Um, and my mum and dad and Paul and Jennifer. And I went shopping for the first time last week, which wasn't too bad because it wasn't very busy. But Roth Park was not as busy as it has been or can be, but it was still busy enough. And then we went, we came back and we went through the McDonald's drive through and that was quite busy as well. It's very surreal seeing all these poor workers wearing these masks and I know they've got to do it for their own safety and I'm glad they are looking after themselves. But it was so weird. It's such a surreal situation that we're in at the moment. I just can't get over it. Um... Yeah, so I've got a bit of a sinusitis headache at the moment, so I'm going to take a painkiller uh, and lie down in a darkened room to try and get rid of it. Jennifer's having a rest. She was absolutely shattered when she got back. She was running around in Nana's living room. And then she, she we went to a quick walk around the lake. We had that ice cream, which was really nice. So, yeah, and then this evening, we'll probably eat out in the garden because the weather's going to be nice. And me and Paul are doing another quiz. So, I might take you out in the garden with me, but if not, I'll see you at the quiz. Quiz is music one this time, so I'll let you know how we get on with that one. Yeah. Music's not my strong point. I love music, but a lot of this is modern music, and anything after, like, 1994, I'm a bit lost. 
I like some of it, but I'm a bit lost. I like my music. I like my music like I might like, like my movies. I like the mold. <laughs> anyway, that's it for, for now. I'll be back later. Like I said I'm going to take some painkillers and try and get rid of this sinusitis. Oh, it's horrible. So painful. See, I put some makeup on today, look. <laughs> it was nice to put makeup on today. I felt like, oh, I'm back. It's me. Yeah. Looks okay. I need to get my hair done. But yeah, I'm going to stop waffling now and have a lie down. I'll see you later. Time for dinner. Steak and chips tonight outside in the garden. Before the quiz. So we're doing a music quiz, aren't we? You are. We are, badly. After the first round, we were 47 out of 48. I can't remember where we were after the second round, but we've actually moved up to 28th now out of 48 players. <laughs> First round was horrendous, the second and third rounds weren't too bad, were they, Paul? No. No, they were all right, so hopefully round four will be okay. And next week we'll go back to general knowledge, I think. Okay, Paul's gone off to bed now. We came back 38th. I'm just uploading a video for the channel. Um, it's the weekly what I read, listened to and watched in the last week, so it's not a very long one. Um, I was going to film a video for tomorrow, a, a colour and chat, but I'm so tired. I'll just put a flip through tomorrow. That's why I've got them. I can't, I just can't carry on filming every single night so um i will film one tomorrow night for tuesday that's fine um and obviously mon no it'll be wednesday it's wednesday and fridays i'll be doing them so i don't have to re f film it for the next few days um i'm just having a look to see if i've got um a uh folder i can put it in Book reviews, monthly reading wrap ups, which it's not. No, we'll create a new playlist called Weekly Wrap Up. Oops. So, I don't know. I'm trying to keep this organised. I don't know if it's worth doing or anything. I'm having one of those days where I think everything I do is a waste of time, but I know it's not. So, I'll pop it in that one. So something I'll start doing. So I'm just going to upload this video, it's only going to take about 10 minutes or so and then I'm off to bed. So that's it, it's Saturday night, Sunday tomorrow. Um, shopping, my mum's, that sort of hanging around day. I hope it would be nice, I can get out and play with Jennifer, it would be nice. Um, always like doing that. She was shattered today, she went to sleep when we got home. So I'm very, very tired today, I need, I need an early night, so I'm going to finish my drink, get this video uploaded and go straight to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we're up late today. Time to go shopping. How exciting. Got my Back to the Future t-shirt on again today. <laughs> really like my t-shirt. Anyway, let's go to Lidl's, shall we, Jen? Mm. Yeah. Hi hey everyone, it's Sunday night. Um, Jennifer's just gone to bed. Um, it's quite early, but I'm really not feeling too bright myself, so I'm gonna take myself to bed earlier. Um, I haven't put a video up today. Uh, I'm just have a day off today. Got plenty. I could go up. Probably put two up tomorrow. Feeling a bit lightheaded and dizzy. I probably haven't eaten and drunk enough. I've just had a big dinner, so I'm all right there. But sort of probably a bit. I don't know. I just don't feel 100% right. I don't feel ill. I just feel very tired and lethargic. I think I just need a good night's sleep and I'll be all right tomorrow. I think I've been overdoing it with the walking and the, the filming and the eBay and trying to do 300 things at once. So I'm going to head off to bed early tonight and not do any filming. I'm not going to colour um, as much as I want to. I'm just too tired. I'm just going to curl up in bed. I might read a bit of my Cary Grant book actually and for half an hour and that'll be about it. I did get the new Jade Summer colouring book which is Intricate Patterns. Ta-da-da! So next time I film, I will do a flip through of that for the channel and put it straight up. So you might get a couple of videos in one day, a couple of times this week. So um, People said they want me to continue with the Frost Dragon, so I'm going to carry on with the Frost Dragon um, picture. So next Karen chat, which would have been up tonight normally, but I was too tired last night to do it, will be now up on Wednesday. And I'm going to have to start pacing myself a bit more. <laughs> um, yeah, hand of the sale on eBay, so eBay's ticking over nicely, that's all I'm happy, that's all I ask for. It's been a weird week, 
Going to Roth was very strange yesterday. Obviously, I went shopping again today in the supermarket. It's still a bit weird being out with all these people after being pretty much hermetically sealed in a bubble for three and a half months. So, it's very strange. I'm one of those people I'm quite happy with my own company. I know it's not good for everybody. Paul's not keen on it. And it's not certainly not good for Jennifer. She needs to be with other children. But for me, being locked away it is fine. I could quite happily have this go on forever. It wouldn't bother me at all so much. I mean, I miss the odd person and, you know, but I'm not bothered when we can get out and see and have a drink with a mate. I, I will and it will be nice. Um, but I'm not going to rush out and do anything like that. I'm still a bit wary. Mainly because I do suffer from severe, quite severe asthma and I'm worried about getting ill, especially with Jennifer still very young. Um, yeah, it does worry me. I, I mean, last year I was so ill. I had like five chest infections in one year. Um, now this year, I'm so far, touch wood and whistle, I've been fine. Um, but we'll see how it goes once things start easing off and we end up going out more and more and things start getting back to normal. It will. It has to. We can't live like this forever. I could, personally, but generally, in general, the world doesn't work like this. And, and human beings are social creatures. Just some of us can be a little less social than others. I, but, I, hey, that doesn't mean to say I, I don't miss going to the pub for a drink or going to a restaurant for a meal or to the cinema or to the theatre, to a concert, or even just going out around the town having a sh going shopping with Paul and Jen. I, I miss that. I do. I do. It would be nice to, to get back to some sort of normality, but I would prefer it if I could stay at home. I look so tired. Yeah. Oh, I do need a good night's sleep. Anyway, that's it for this week. We'll start it all again tomorrow. See you later. Bye.